To investigate what occurs with multiplication of directed numbers, we'll start by looking at the three times tables. Now the choice of three is quite random, but you'll notice on the left hand side that we've got all the values of three multiplied not just by positive numbers, but also zero and negative one and negative two. And the key thing to note is that those numbers on the right hand side do go down one at a time. If we start looking at this table, we know that three multiplied by two is six. We also know that three multiplied by one is three and three multiplied by zero is zero. Now, apart from the fact we've probably remembered that table, we know that multiplication is just a quick way to do lots of add-ups. Three multiplied by two is really saying three plus three and three multiplied by one is just saying one lot of three. So what's happening is as we work our way down that table, we're reducing the result by three each time. So we can continue that pattern of reducing three down to the next value where it's three multiplied by negative one. The result here is negative three. And following on from that, three multiplied by negative two is equal to negative six. So you can see from this table very quickly that three multiplied by a positive number ends up with a result that's exactly the same as three multiplied by the matching negative number, except the result is negative. For example, three multiplied by two is six, 3 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6. Let's have a look at a few other quick examples. 8 multiplied by 6 is equal to 48. So 8 multiplied by negative 6, according to the pattern we've just seen, must be negative 48. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. So negative 9 multiplied by 5 is negative 45. What about negative 8 multiplied by negative 2? We'll have to look at that one in another table, but that could be a different issue because we've got a negative multiplied by a negative. But to this point, we certainly do know that the multiplication rules for a positive number multiplied by a negative number end up being exactly the same result as what we saw previously with two positive numbers, but the result is negative.